really, really easy hair scrunchies. Ciao everyone, Beth with Thimblehooks, back today to show you how to make really easy hair scrunchies. Really, really easy hair scrunchies. They have four different ways you can do it. You got one, two, three, and believe it or not, these three right here are the same pattern, just one slight difference that makes this one really poofy and this one not as poofy at all. So I'm going to show you how to do all three of those with one simple twist and this little guy that's just the just the basics just the basics if you just need something quick oh and I'm working with velvet today so I have little fluffs all over the place we're gonna get rid of those fluffs I am working with Lion Brand Ice Cream Deluxe and it is a velvet and I'm not usually a huge fan of working with velvet so I don't have a huge stockpile of it but I figured a clearance price I couldn't go wrong and it tells me let's see this is called Juno it has six colors in it it had a gold a green a copper pink a plum and a blue so that's neat you get a lot out of this so you can come up with six different colors out of one of these skeins it's very nice so first we'll start off with this with the tiny one really fast really easy I'm going to use the pink and move off my fluffs. That's part of the fun of working with velvet. You get fluffy fluffies everywhere. Best way to start, just take this and do a half knot around your hair tie. Just like that. Now you're ready to go. Ready to get started. Now even though this tells me to use a 9 millimeter hook, because it's a super bulky. They're calling it a six and wants it, want me to use a nine. I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. I don't want my, my stitches to be quite that big. So we're going to use a six and a half. Hold the tail off to the side because we're going to bury him as we go around the circle. Just go in, pull through, and single crochet all the way around until you really can't see much more of the pony binder. I've found with this yarn, this ice creams deluxe that I'm using super bulky, 35 seems to be a good number for me. If you're using a different yarn, you can find your own number. Sometimes you need to go up as high as 50 or even higher if you're using really thin yarn and if you're using something even bulkier than this, you might only need 25. But we're going to go all the way around. And I'll meet you back right over here. Just stretch it out a little bit so we can get these last five stitches in. One, 32, 33, 34, and 35. There you go. You can see I was working through, working over this original tail. He's sticking out right now, right here. Made it halfway around. And we'll take care of him in a little bit, so just let him dangle. So if you're gonna make if you wanted to make this right here, just a very basic, simple little tie, you would take at this point and just slip stitch into your first stitch and fasten off and you're all done. Bam. However, I am going to go forward and make one of the bigger ones. I'm gonna show you the difference between these three: little and medium and big. I'm gonna show you the difference. You can do any one you want with the exact same pattern. Now we're going to work in the back loop only, all the way around. So here's our first stitch. Here's the whole stitch right here. Here's the front loop only. We want the back loop only right here. Now we're just going to single crochet into that back loop. And I'm going to mark my stitch because it makes things faster and easier, especially when you're working with velvet, because sometimes those stitches hide a little bit. I'll set this down for just a moment and show you the difference between these three. Again, exactly the same pattern. Skinny, it's a little bit bigger, and this one is really fluffy. So let's make the middle one. And I'll show you the difference between those three. Okay, after our single crochet, to make the little one, you chain one. 
To make the medium size one, you chain two. To make the big one, chain three. We're going to make the medium size one now, so I took one of, my, one of my chains out. I have two, and in the very next stitch, back loop only, all the way around, make a single crochet. Chain two, single crochet. Chain two, every single stitch, back loop only, single crochet, chain two, single crochet, chain two. So some of these stitches hide a little bit, it's so fuzzy. So you might have to look around just a little bit. Back loop only, single crochet, chain two. And I'll meet you back over at my stitch marker. Almost done with the first round. So we have four or five more stitches left. We'll go back loop only, single crochet, and two chains. So back loop only, single crochet, and two chains. Back loop only, single crochet, and two chains. Back loop only, single crochet and two chains. One more stitch right there. Single crochet and chain two. Now what we're going to do is move on and work across all of those front loop onlys that didn't get worked in that last round because we were doing back loop onlys. Now all these front loops are waiting their turn. So we know we're at the beginning, so there's going to be a little front loop right here. And you can see one, two, three, four, all the way along. We're going to do the exact same thing. We did our chain two, single crochet, chain two, do the same thing all the way around again. It's a little bit harder to see them because we've used half the stitch, but you'll find them. Number three, chain two, right in there, there it is, chain two, right there, and again, chain two, we're going to work all the way around until we get back to the stitch marker. So let's finish the rest of these off really quick. And I'll meet you back at the stitch marker. I only have a few stitches left. You can barely see them, but they're there. They're there. I probably have seven left. So there's my single crochet, chain two. Go in there. Single crochet and chain two. All the way to the end. So I have the stitch marker in here so I know I don't need to start trying to figure out where my stitches go because I know I'm at the end. Especially with velvet, it's so fuzzy. They're not as defined as they are with some other yarns. We're almost done. This is a perfect yarn to make hair scrunchies out of. It's very fluffy, comes in lots of colors, and this is really, really fast. I think I have one more. One more. There's the last one. I'm going to chain the two still. And now I'm going back to that very first stitch. That's why we marked it so we could find it again right in here. And I'm just going to slip stitch. Slip stitch him. And finish off. Make it tight. We can take this out now. We're done. He did his duty with keeping that first stitch for me. We just have to weave in these ends, or this the end, because the other one we already buried, which is awesome. We did half of the work already. So any way you want to do it, it doesn't matter. 
finish it off and bury your ends however you wish. See how those are both fluffy? The only difference is that in between each single crochet, in this little one, there's one chain. In the medium one, there's two chains. And in this big one, there's three chains. That's the only difference. All three of them have 35 stitches on the pony binder. The only difference is the, is the chains in between the single crochets. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate you supporting my small business. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.